Hi there! In today's video, I'll show you how to use Tepo app with this TP-Link Tepo C210. Let's get started. So, this app looks like this. Let's launch it. And firstly, let's talk about this first page, which is camera. If we tap on the manage, we can see many functions here. So, firstly, you can just make a full screen by tapping this option. Now, what else we can do? We can take a photo of what is happening on the screen by tapping this camera icon. And we can also record a video that will be immediately saved to your gallery when you stop it. Like this. Also here, we can change the camera's microphone. And by tapping this phone icon, we would be able to make a phone call to the camera. Just tap this button to call and that's it. Now we have also this function which is talk. So for example, if your friend is in the living room and you are at the kitchen, you can use this function to talk with this person. Just press and hold this button and say something. Hi. Hi. So this sound is not good here, but if you just hold your phone not near the camera, the sound will be better. Now the next is pan and tilt. So, here you can change the angle of your camera by tapping these arrows, right, left, up and down, like this. And also we can see the petrol. We can use vertical petrol and we can use horizontal petrol by tapping this option. When you are done, just press again to stop doing this. Now, the next thing is an alarm. So, the, the camera will make really loud sounds when it will detect a person or a motion. And the next is privacy mode. You can enable it if you want to temporarily disable the camera, so get you more privacy. Tap it again to enable it. And the next section we can see here is playback and download. Here you can see all of your videos and here you can select a date. Just tap on the calendar and choose any date you want to check. Now, if you just scroll by swiping left or right, it will find you the best video according to the time that you have selected. And in this section, you can choose where you save the video, to the SD card or to the cloud. Just tap to choose the best option. And now we can see also this download tab. Here you can see all of your downloaded recordings, photos, and you can delete them by tapping these three dots, then choosing select option, and then just tapping on them and deleting like this. We are done with this section, so let's move on to the settings. For this, we're gonna click this icon, and now we can see many settings here, so let's discuss each of them. For example, the first one is device info. Here we can select device icon, for example, let's change it to this home one, then tap the save button, and also we can change device's name, just type in something, then tap the save button, and it will be immediately saved in this tab. Here you can set the location, you can choose office for example like I did, or go in a custom one, choose the suggested options or just type in manually. Great! Here you can also check the time zone, Wi-Fi network, signal strength, IP address, model of your device and firmware version. Now we can see these two interesting sections. So. In detection, you can enable or disable motion tracking, motion detection, person detection and baby crying detection. So, if you enable this function, for example, then you will receive notifications when any motion will be detected with the help of this camera. You can also choose the sensitivity by swiping right, this is high sensitivity, and swiping left, which is low sensitivity. And you can do just the same for the person detection and baby crying detection. So if you have babies, this function is really helpful, so I suggest you to enable it. Let's go back to the main settings and check what else we have here. So here is the pan and tilt. As before, you can choose the angle of your camera. Now let's move on to the storage and recording. Here in the local recording, you can check the storage. You can enable or disable loop recording and format your micro SD card. Here you can also enable or disable local recording and to record with sound. Because if you disable this function, 
then you will see the recording with no sound. So let's leave it with sound. And go back to the main settings. Now the next one is video and display. Here we can change the video quality. I recommend you to leave this 1080. And you can also invert image of your camera. And also you can set the privacy zones. So if which function will be enabled, the custom privacy zones cannot be viewed or monitored to protect your privacy. And we can see these two left sections, which is on screen display and display tag on screen. Let's choose this one. And here we can either enable or disable to display times tab. So if you enable it on the main screen of your camera, you can see the time and date of the recording. If you disable, you cannot see it. You can also enable display logo and display text. And display tag on screen, here you can set live tag and speed tag. Great, let's move on to the further sections. For example, status LED. If you enable it, you'll be able to see this green dot. But it can be annoying during the night, so you can disable it and you will see no green dot at all, but it will still recording. Now you can also set the privacy mode. As I said before, if enabled, streaming and recording functions will be temporarily disabled to protect your privacy. We have few more interesting settings left, so let's move on. So here we can see the notifications and we can customize it. So you can enable or disable activity notifications and reach notifications. And in the activity type, you can choose which type of the notifications you want to receive. For example, about motion detection, about person detection and about baby crying detection. I don't have a baby, so I'm going to disable this one to not receive such notifications. And in the schedule section, you can set how often you want to receive such notifications. You can set always, you can switch during the day, during the night, or even set your own custom time and the repeat. When you're done, just tape this save button and the changes will be immediately saved. Let's go back to the main settings and here we can see advanced one. So here you can check the camera account and power line frequency. I recommend you to stick to auto option. And also you can see this diagnostic section. You can either enable it or disable. And in the smart actions, you can choose automation. For example, water leak alert, automate device when I arrive home, automate devices when I leave home and detection lights. Great. Let's go back to the previous settings. And also you can check a firmware update by tapping this option. So if there are any new updates, I suggest you to update. And also you can reboot your camera and set auto reboot and choose the reboot time. For example, let's set it to 7 p.m. And you can reboot it right now by choosing this red option. And the last one, you can just remove your camera by tapping this option. And that's it. Now you know how to use this Tapo app. And that was all for now. Hope this video was useful for you. And thank you so much for watching.